Okay, so in this last video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you exactly how to link the files. So what I did is I basically made a copy of the two main programs and the two uh, the two class files, but I removed all the linking. All right, so all these links are basically are basically all these links are basically gone. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to link them all up. Okay, so the two main programs are here. My two class libraries, my two code libraries are here. Okay, so let's start to make the link from uh, class. Let, let's start to let's make this link here between the main program and the class file. So here's class file A. We start with file. Go file, uh, manage version. So when you have a version, I guess it's obvious what you should put in it. Maybe the date APR twenty two. 15 okay if it's complete and maybe some notes this uh, change this and that or changed this and that okay so save a new version all right so here's my new version okay click on okay so also in the class library click on manage no click on project properties and I'm gonna select I'm gonna copy this coding here copy that now in the main program I'm gonna go file <clears throat> Sorry, I'm going to go to resources, libraries. I'm going to add my code, add my code library. Click on select. All right, and I'm going to go to my version, my version here. All right, I'm going to give it an identifier. I'm going to call this one A. And I'm going to develop. I'm going to ask myself, well, do I want development mode on or off? Like, do I want to see all the immediate changes right away or not? I'm going to guess most of the time it's going to be off. All right. Uh, most of the time it's going to be off. You're going to let the people who program the class or the library decide when they're going to release a new version, a new working version. But let's leave this off for now anyways. And so I'm going to click Save. Now if I run it, okay, this code should not work because I don't have my B stuff running yet, but the first one should work. Okay, if I run it, and you can see that it works. Okay. Now, if I were to try to run the other code, well, I didn't attach, I didn't attach uh, the B file class yet, so it shouldn't run. I should, I should get an error, and I do, okay, because it says, well, it can't find this identifier. Okay, B is not identified. So, what we're gonna do now is let's attach, let's attach this one here, <coughs> this class here with this one here, through this attachment, okay. So check it out. So I'm going to come back to here. I'm going to go to File, Manage Versions, Create a New Version. I'm going to call it APR 2215 Completed. Completed, just like that. It's here. And uh, change that and that. Okay. We'll save a new version. Click OK. Uh, click on File here. Uh, project properties. I'm going to co copy the project key. Copy this. Click on save. And then come back to the main program and I'm going to go to uh, uh, resources, libraries. Alright. Paste my identifier here. Select it. Okay. Choose my version and choose my identifier. I'm going to call this one B. Okay. Development mode. I'm going to leave it off. Click on save. Now this coding should run. And it does, okay. So there, therefore, now because the main program is here and these two files are completely independent of it, what I can do is I have a group of people work on this one, a group of people work on this one, okay, and all the time linked it to this one. All right. Now I have another file here. Now this one, this spreadsheet here, okay. We're going to make this link here between uh, class code library or class file or code library A to this spreadsheet code here right so let's make let's make this link here uh, and really the only reason to do it is just, just to show you that it does work with uh, you can link this Google Apps Script uh, code libraries to uh, anything you want so I'm going to go to um, <coughs> I'm going to go to tools script editor now here is the script that is associated with this spreadsheet so these two are tied together okay so 
what I'm going to do here is in code library A I'm going to go to file uh, project properties okay, I'm going to copy this one here copy it save into here this code here sorry and then I'm going to go to resources okay okay I'm going to go to resources libraries uh, paste the code here all right and uh, select okay call my version this one and then call this one B all right develop decide about your development mode click on save and then uh, it should run oh cannot find B file why is that because I believe I copied code A and it's A file not B file so silly mistake so I'm going to change this to A file A file here A test here and I think that's going to run okay and you can see that it does alright so what we essentially did is we made we made the link between this main program here okay, and this class file here alright and uh, that's uh, how you would do project management in Google Apps Script I should mention that um, if you look down um, on the YouTube link that you can download the folder with all these files and you can try it yourself okay